Hi. I did this uh, oh, 10 days ago or so. This line and wash. I thought I'd uh, do something similar to that. Uh, but show you how I do the, the line with the brushes and um, or stick if I so desire. Uh, I'm going to make it make this up and I'll do it in two parts. I'll do the drawing now and upload it and I'll do if I get a chance uh, by the weekend I'll do part two with the, applying the colour. So um, well, I'll vary the, 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 the landscape a little bit. No, I won't. I, I, I'm going to stick to my my first love is flat landscape and trying to make the flat interesting. So I've got a bit of um, waterproof, well I hope it's waterproof, ink. Um, I'm not sure whether, yeah that's alright. Right, okay, so we'll, uh, we'll put a horizon in, fairly low, just, see what I'm doing? just touching all areas of the brush. Make sure that you don't let the ink dry on your brush, otherwise you'll ruin your brush. Uh, come across here, just establish the horizon, see I'm holding the brush. It's more hit and miss like this. And into that we can build up a... can use uh, different different brushes. I use mostly old brushes that I'm not currently using for the watercolour. A little worn out brush there. Um, we can do clumps of foliage. But try to leave quite a bit of of uninked paper. Uh, need some air. Don't make it too solid. And then you can do a bit of bit of drawing with the go back to that and do a bit more but I want bits of ivy I'll put more branches and twigs on it I'll just build up a, a, a landscape behind I'm using the uh, Fabriana, £130. Fifteen by eleven inches. It's a uh, good paper for wet in wet. I wouldn't say it was one of the best papers, but but for what we're doing, it's ideal. It comes in blocks of a hundred from Grantham's. I can build more into that and I'll, I'll put a larger tree somewhere in the foreground here but we just just sort of carry this. If you use a rougher paper like the Bockingford that I, I also use you get more of a hit and miss. I think what makes these attractive is uh, is the contrast between the black and the white. That's I don't think any other reason really. It's, there's no great drawing going on. It's it's just not. Uh, or if you. Um, make it too solid, too much, it, uh, a little goes a long way with this. So this is the, uh, the landscape disappearing into 
the distance. I can put a blue background to that. Try to make all areas slightly different. What you don't want is a regiment of uh, of shapes. Look, all looking the same. See, that's very solid. A bit too solid. So I'll have to justify that with some. See, that's got a bit heavy. Oh, never mind. It's predominantly a, a winter scene. So we can uh, go back to a, the, the fine rigger here. Probably number three. I hope this is waterproofing. I bought it as drawing ink. I've just come back from a week in Canterbury. I didn't do any uh, any painting or drawing. I took a few photographs around Whitstable. I hope you enjoyed this. I started out wanting to draw trees, skies, and saw some, well, I had the books like we all do, we try and try and try, and don't get anywhere. I think never, never get anywhere with it, but years later, I can do this. If I could have done this, 40 years ago I would have been chuffed. Think how good I would have been now. It's taken a lifetime just to do this. And it's nothing to do with gift or talent, it's to do with a willingness to, to pick yourself up when it all goes wrong, hundreds of times. Believe you me, I've had hundreds of failures. So my best pictures are painted on the other side. Let's get this background here. Putting a bit of colour in over this is, is, is the easy bit. I try to get a nice composition of. So that's just a bit too. It went a bit wrong there. There you are, I've done it again, look. So we can, this will just be a bit of solid stuff. So this is going to be the part, part one. Um, maybe I, I can put the, the big tree in here. Now, I want to do some grassy impressions here in this marshy type of... Leave loads and loads of unpainted If 
But a lot of this goes a long, a lot of this goes a long way. And we can put a bit of water in. Just strengthen up here to balance all this. It's going a little bit hard there. This is the bank. It's very similar to the one I've, I've done, but I'm, I didn't show the, the drawing process, which I'm doing now. And what you put up, going up, put coming down. And there's a bit of reflection from that tree. Now Canterbury you've got the stoor, seems to go every, everywhere, lovely. Canterbury is a beautiful city, beautiful cathedral city. Let's <coughs> have uh, so something coming up in that corner. We'll get that round there. But We'll put something coming up here. And we've got this glasses coming up here. Just got some glasses coming up here. I'm overdoing this deliberately, to, because I'm one because I'm getting carried away with it. Just the fun of doing this, and there's no reflections here. I'm just trying to show you the way I approach this and how difficult it is to take my own advice about a little goes the wrong way. Oh, that's good.
I think we'll put a big tree up there. Then that will uh, take care of this. We'll turn that into a heavy. Brush go where it, where it goes. Remember, your trees, the base, are holding up many tons of of wood. It's okay though, no, let's just print something down there. Clean the brush, clean right down to the ferrule, because that's where you'll get ink. Look, I thought I'd clean that, no, it's still in there. Because eventually it will make your hair split. Just strengthen up that reflection there a little bit. And this will be part one. I could finish, but I've got a grandchild coming pretty soon. Uh, demand me, demand that I play football with him. Okay, that, that'll do. I'll get this uploaded and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. I'll just take you into that so you can have a little look at see what I've done. See that was a mistake turned into a, a better tree. There we go. So this will be another Norfolk Broads type of uh, scene. I don't know what I'll do. I might even put a put a fence or something in there. Let's do that while I think of it. Well, 
It seems a shame to put paint on that, doesn't it? Right, thanks for watching. Bye bye.